Good afternoon, this is Pam with Follow Your Brush, and I'm excited. I bought something new this week, and you know me, I love getting mail, and I love <laughs> getting supplies, new supplies, art supplies. Today, I am especially excited about this pocket palette from Art Toolkit. This is called their Triad Palette, and they have named it so because they have collaborated with, um, let's see, Lisa Spangler, as well as, whoops, Letter Sparrow, who makes the paints, to put together this fabulous little palette that you can carry with you in your purse, pocket, wherever you go, a travel kit, and uh, take it with you, and you are set. Now, here's what's so special about this one. These are one, two, three, four sets of primary colors, but they are put together in a way that you can mix the different hues for the different seasons. For instance, the first one is spring. That's this first cross here. It's primrose yellow, quin rose, cerulean blue. The next one is summer. That's this row, Hansa yellow, Quinn Magenta, Phthalo Blue. This is a, this is actually, I think, maybe my favorite triad. <laughs> the next one is for fall, a Sunflower Yellow, a Coral, and Ultramarine Blue. And then for winter, Gamboge Yellow, Black Current, and Indanthrone, Indanthrone Blue. I may be saying that incorrectly. And they also have the pigment numbers here for you. And they did a little sample with each uh, triad to show you how you can use it. But let's go. Let me show you what I've done. This is a little pocket that it came with, a little cloth pocket, and you can close it up in that and carry it with you. And it also came with this template, this triad template that you can easily trace, put your colors in, and do your color mixes. And I've had a ball with this. So let me show you what I've done. This is my first page. I took my template and as so right here, I did my primary colors, primrose yellow, quin rose, and my cerulean blue. Those were the main three. And then I began my mixes, and we'll do some together here in a second. But what I did on this, this is my Etcher sketchbook, by the way. I didn't say that, but I love my Etcher sketchbook, and it's also good to take with you wherever you go. And this is a um, size that is easily carried. I think it's an A6. Anyway, here's the primary colors for spring. And then here I've done some mixes with the uh, primrose yellow and the quin rose. And then I have a couple nice oranges here that I've done. Cerulean, uh, Cerulean blue and the quin rose. Got some nice shades there. And then my Cerulean blue and the primrose yellow and I got carried away and I've got all kind of different colors here. Mix them together and here's my neutrals with, those, with this set. Here I just put some water and let, dropped it in and let them run together so I could see what they would do. The next one is for summer. This I think might actually be my favorite triad. I really love these colors. Hansa Yellow, Quin Magenta, and Phthalo Blue. And um, Phthalo Blue. And here's some mixes up here. Some of the colors I combined. Some of the neutrals I was able to achieve. Here's my running colors with water. My Quin Magenta and Blue, look at the beautiful purples and shades in that. And also the greens, and then I've labeled them here as well. And then in my color wheel, I did the um, combinations and let them run together and play. Let's go on to the next page. And then we'll actually, I'll show you how it works. Uh, this one is for fall. It's a Sunflower Yellow, Coral, Ultramarine, and you can see in this, um, when I did this grouping here, you can see how the ultramarine just kind of wants to push everybody out of the way. It's, it's um, very uh, granulating. 
and but this is a really pretty coral color in the sunflower so this is in the fall you can get your beautiful oranges for your fall scenes um, the coral is lovely with ultramarine blue we got some nice purples and we also got some beautiful greens these are the neutrals that I was able to come together with when you put them all together that's how you get your neutral add all three but you can push it either way light or dark depending on which pigment you add and this is my watery mix. And then here's the winter triad. This is gamboge yellow, black currant, which I had never used before, um, but it's a really, really pretty color. And danthrone blue is it here. So those are your primaries. And then here's some of my color mixes. This is darker than I normally paint. I I particularly like the um, particularly like this combo. This is kind of up my alley, but it's the summer colors. And and I did like these as well for fall. I don't normally paint with colors that quite this dark, but still, this is a beautiful example of how you can change your triad to suit whatever situation you're painting. I mean, it might fit for your area, wherever you are. So you can take this little palette and you're you're ready to go. And here are some of the neutrals I got. These are the colors running together. The purples are a little darker. The shades are darker because the current, um, black current is darker. So you're gonna get a darker shade there. And um, some nice greens. I had a little bit of trouble getting my oranges in this. I wasn't quite as satisfied. This seems to be kind of granulating. Um, but anyway, it, there it is. And here's the neutrals. Then on the next page, I took a suggestion from Maria from Art Toolkit, the founder. She said, trace your little palette onto your page and then uh, put your colors in there and just paint your um, Paint your palette. So I put little colors in here for my mixing areas like I was mixing my colors. And then I did this painting. This was a painting um, taken from a reference photo of a friend of mine who is currently in um, Portugal. And uh, he's a former exchange student and he sent me this. And I just thought it was really pretty. So I used these paints to, um, to do this picture. And I kind of cheated and I mixed up my colors and I'm sorry, I can't tell you which ones I used specifically because as I got going, I kind of started dipping into some of the others. Um, and I also, if you see this texture here, I used a little golf wax um, piece of paraffin wax and I just kind of put it on there just to kind of give some texture down here and also here. And then I did go over it with a little tiny bit of ink just to, um, touch it up. But let's put this into practice, shall we? Let me show you how this works. This is so fun. And um, let me show you the template. Now, as far as purchasing this set, I believe they are sold out, to the best of my knowledge. Um, but they are going to be producing more, and they are going to make this template also available to purchase individually. But you can also, they give the um, pigment numbers, and um, you can also choose, you can create your own triad palettes with an empty, you can buy these with empty pans, and you can create your own. So it's a great idea, even, even if you don't get this particular palette from Art Toolkit, you can still do the same thing. But here's what we did. They provide this template, and they're creating more so they can sell them individually. This was just the um, premiere or the first package that they sent out. First set, they only made so many. And um, because I'm on their mailing list, I jumped on it and ordered one immediately as soon as I saw it. And um, she also has a video on the YouTube a live video explaining it and doing all the all the colors. 
Now, see how handy that is? Trust me, when it comes to doing color wheels, I am the worst. I really am the worst. You have these little mixing palettes here, and mine are stained because I've already been playing with this and using it. I'm gonna use my water brush um, just for right now. But let's do, let's do my favorite, which is the second palette of Triads, which is the Summer. And let's go ahead and start with this one. This is the Hansa Yellow. And I'm gonna start out here a little darker. And then just kind of add some water and let it see more of a diluted version and more concentrated up there at the top. So that's Hansa Yellow, and the pigment number on that is PY97. I'm going to put my red down here, and this is my, another favorite of mine, which is Quinn Magenta. Absolutely gorgeous color. And did you know that uh, magenta was the official color for 2023, I think it was? Trying to stay in the lines. You know, when I paint, I really don't like to stay in the lines. <laughs> I'm all over the place. But I'm trying for just for the sake of this, um, for this practice to do this color wheel so I don't mess it up. Then the next one is phalo blue. No, I'm sorry. Yeah, phalo blue. And the pigment number for that is PB15. I'm sorry, the Quid Magenta is PR122. Here's my phalo blue. I love these phalo colors. Phalo blue, phalo turquoise. And we'll try to come down a little bit. So there you are. There you've got your there you've got your triad. But now let's play, all right? Are you ready? <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm going to um, put some yellow here. And some yellow here. And we'll do a little bit more here. Now, these mixing palettes are great for just, I mean, if, if I'm out and about, here's how I use it. I should have said this sooner. You may have seen me do this already. But I have a um, magnetic clip. And I will put it on that and then I have it good to go. And if I'm in a doctor's office, if I'm waiting to get my car worked on, wherever I am, this is how I operate. I take these with me all the time. All right, let's do the yellow and the Quim Magenta, and let's come in here and see what kind of mix we can make. This is pretty saturated. I'm gonna kind of put this one on this side here a little bit. Then, let me see. Um, I'm gonna add a little bit more yellow to this. See if we can come in here a little orangier. Add some more yellow, bring it out push it out more this direction. Come in with my Quin Magenta. And that's a really pretty mixture. Nice, nice. Isn't that pretty? Uh, let me just do a swatch here. The Quin Magenta and the Hansa Yellow. That's a pretty orange. I'm sorry for the clanging. I watched somebody one time on a video and they kept clanging their brush. <laughs> it kind of drove me nuts. Let's add some more here. Just to get some more of that shade. Some more Queen Magenta here. I get carried away and then I just kind of keep playing. Get 
these two together, see what they do, see how they like to play together. It's like they're dancing. Great, great combinations. See, my problem is even when I do swatching, I want to get carried away and then I don't want to get back to what I'm doing. <laughs> so anyway, so here's some combos with the Hansa Yellow and the uh, Quinn Magenta is really, really pretty. Now I've got the Hansa Yellow over here. And let me play with some blues before I get to my purples. Okay. This is phalo blue. We're gonna get some really, really pretty shades with this one. This is gonna go over here, actually. Put this one here. And then I'm gonna push it a little more yellow. This one, see what we can get. Some more yellow come from up here. Look at this pretty shades of green. Let me push the blue a little bit more. And we'll get a really pretty dark green. Isn't that pretty? So here, let's do some here. Here's that dark green that I just did. And let me get my yellow. Um, because I have some blue in there, it's kind of contaminated. It's not pure yellow anymore. I can fix that, but here's my blue. And let's add some, I know, don't, don't panic. I know I'm messing up my color. I'll get it. Isn't that pretty? Some really, really pretty greens there. Let me um, dab some of this out of there. A little puddle. All right, so that's, I really like that one as well. And um, just some really pretty colors. I'm just gonna put some water on here first this time. And now you may say, I have a water brush, but why am I, <laughs> why am I dipping it into my water? Because my thumbs don't work, so that's, that's why. I'm just gonna play with this and let these, um, colors kind of play together here just wet on wet see how they mingle and dance together that's always fun to me I know we haven't done our purples yet but I just wanted to show you how wet on wet how they respond isn't that fun so so pretty oh yeah I love it I love what they're doing. All right, let's get down here and let's do the um, purples with the, uh, got some Queen Magenta up here. Some Queen Magenta. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm playing on the, again. Some blue, phalo blue, and let's put some together here. Oh, I'm just gonna go for it. That's a nice, oh gosh, what a gorgeous, gorgeous purple. I'm going to put that one over here. This is more concentrated. Isn't that pretty? Oh man, I love it, I love it. I love it. Let me add some more magenta to it this way so we can just see what they're, what it's going to do here. Just so gorgeous, so gorgeous. I'm gonna add some more on the blue. Take it more blue. And uh, get it back over here to the blue side and 
let it mingle. Just gorgeous colors. Like I say, I think this is probably just about maybe my favorite, my favorite triad of, of the three. I like this, how this one works. All right, let's go back down here. Let's do my phthalo blue. And my clean magenta. Now let's add these some of these mixes that we got. We got this beautiful purple here. I've added some more water to that. Let me add some more blue and make that darker. Look at the difference. So this is a really, really, really combi pretty, pretty, pretty combination. Um, I could lighten this a l even a little bit more. More water and get even a more pale lilac almost. Isn't that pretty? So there's my combinations of those and I encourage you to check out our toolkit and her palettes and like I say you can buy these individually empty which I have plenty of actually because I have soon learned that one or two is not enough I'm just gonna play in here now I'm just gonna let's do some lavender <laughs> and just play with my sketchbook and let these colors run a little bit. This is how I like to paint. I like to dab in my water and then just let the colors go for it. So that's with my Quinn Magenta. And let's add some of this blue purple. Actually, this isn't quite the brush I should have used, but for all intents and purposes, for this, it's going to be fine. And then we'll just do some, just do some little doodads here. There we go. Bring in some darker colors here. I just, I, the thing is, once I get this brush in my hand, any brush, I don't normally use these, but any brush gets in my hand and we're off to the races. That's why it's called follow your brush. <laughs> but check out Art Toolkit and uh, I know they're going to be, I think, I'm, I think, pretty, pretty certain that um, Maria said they are going to make some more of these palettes and then the triad will be available separately the uh, template if you want a template um so let's add all three of these together here and make a neutral before I go because that's also important and the nice thing about limited palettes is um, when you're combining colors that are in the same family, so to speak, a limited palette, then when you do your painting, even your neutrals, when you do your neutrals, they're going to uh, be harmonious with what you've already done. So I can add some of these shadows down in here. Of course, this is still wet but with the same neutrals that I've been using, same colors I've been using, color patterns, I can add some darks in here with my shadows and it's gonna be harmonious with my painting because it's a limited palette. So there you go, that's my playtime for today and uh, I hope you enjoyed that. Check out arttoolkit.com and uh, see their, what they have to offer. I love their palettes. I love the little kits, especially if, if you're traveling. 
I actually, when I go somewhere, even, I don't care, even if it's the doctor's office or get my oil changed in my car, um, I have an art tool kit with me. I have a palette uh, in my purse. And um, I've even taken it to the eye doctor when my eyes were dilated and I still tried to paint because <laughs> I had to wait for the eye doctor. So I still took my sketchbook and my my paints. There you go. I'm rambling now because I'm starting to try to paint. But anyway, this is my beautiful new palette art tool kit. The, their triad palette. And like I say, if, if they're sold out of this particular palette, you can buy blank palettes or empty palettes is what I'm trying to say. And then you can order the mixing bowls and the little pans and fill them yourselves. And if you go on artoolkit.com um, um, and even on YouTube video to their channel, there are a lot of wonderful videos showing you how to fill your pans and how to use this and how you can switch them around and you can make all sorts of patterns. So thank you for joining me and I hope you enjoyed this little peek into my new art toolkit palette. Thank you, Maria. For the wonderful work that you do and also to Lisa Spangler who helped collaborate with you and put these triads together and also Letter Sparrow for offering their gorgeous paints to put into these beautiful palettes. Look how gorgeous this is, the wet on wet, how that came together. I just, I, I'm just in amazement. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you're still hung in there with me all this time. <laughs> Check out Art Toolkit. I'll put the information in the description. Thank you so much and uh, don't forget you're going to be able to order the template from them soon as well. They're making more. Thank you so much. Bye.